What's up guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to use an Xbox One controller on your laptop to play your games. Uh, now Microsoft has officially released the uh, drivers for the Xbox One controller and you're now able to use it uh, on your PC or laptop simply by plugging in your micro USB cable. Now in my case I've got a uh, micro USB cable right here uh, for my Samsung Galaxy S5 that I'll be using with the Xbox One controller. Uh, now this cable uh, is compatible with the Xbox One controller um, as well as if you have uh, one of the latest uh, Blackberry devices or uh, Sony I believe it is as well uh, sorry no not Sony, uh, HCC devices and some Sony devices uh, they all use uh, micro USB cables and therefore you'll be able to use any of those cables if you don't have one that came with the controller itself unless you have an Xbox One um, it's uh, very simple and straightforward all you gotta do is you have to plug uh, the USB cable into the controller right here and then you just have to wait for the Windows to do its automatic updates and it will find the driver and once it finds the driver, uh, you will then be uh, ready to uh, play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera down while I plug this in quickly. And uh, then get back to you guys because using one hand trying to do two things, it's impossible. Okay, you can now see that I've plugged it in and the controller vibrates for a split second. Then the light turns on over here, the LED. Um, and when it's solid white, that means that it's actually synced in and it's working on the laptop uh, or desktop. And you can see that I'm playing Watch Dogs on my PC right now. And I'll be showing you guys that it actually works uh, by moving up and down on the, uh, uh, on the controller itself. And also pressing any, any of the buttons, uh, it corresponds to it. So if I click continue... Uh, it will actually work, but I'm going to go ahead and click on options, press A, and you can see that it actually works. Click on display, and those are my settings there. But the controller does work officially now on PC and on uh, laptops. So there you go, guys. Now, if this video has helped, please do make sure to subscribe. If you have any issues, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Peace out.